Hi everyone, um, this is my first video for Mismorphosis. I have never done videos before because there are a few problems. Um, first of all, I work from home, so I sit in this basement and it's freezing. So I wear flannel and no makeup and it's, it's a fantastic life. And I'm really pale from living in this basement. So when I discovered I could make black and white videos, I thought my vanity can be totally appeased by the fact that you won't be able to see how I look like a vampire. So I decided that I was gonna do a video in flannel and black and white, and then you could just see the reality of what it is to be a blogger. And um, one other slight disclaimer for right now is that there's a bird that got into the house. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, I was letting Bella out and a bird came in and he keeps thinking windows or doors and it's been here all morning. So if you suddenly hear like this large sound and like crashes and dog bark, that's my dog attacking the bird. And if it comes in here, you'll see me scream and lose my shit. So just a heads up, that could happen. Um, so the point of this video was I wanted to try and explain, since I do it in typing and I think I'm boring you, what is going on with mismorphosis and with blogging fearlessly because I know it's getting a little confusing. I started the new fan page and everything keeps evolving. So I thought we'd just kind of lay this out. Um, I do this full time, but mismorphosis does not make any money. There's, um, I think there's one ad on it for wine. So if you click that and buy some wine, I'll make money so that I can buy some wine. So that would be a great place to buy your wine. But besides that, um, it's not making any money. But Mismorphosis, having that blog, has done more for me than anything I've had or done in my entire life. So it spurred this idea of sharing blogging with other people as a career. Um, that would afford me the time and the flexibility to build Mismorphosis because blogging is a big job, as well as allow me to support myself because I have to eat and pay rent. It's basement. That's how you know, these things work. So I started blogging fearlessly as a way to start demonstrating the power of blogging. I had a huge aversion to the idea of blogging. I thought blogging sounded nerdy and horrible. And um, even though I like to write and I like to talk, I thought it was too, um, I didn't want to write about like what I ate for lunch and post it and ask people to read it. But what I learned the hard way is that all blogging means is that you have a website where you share your ideas. And that's a really cool thing because the internet reaches millions of people and you don't have many opportunities to reach a lot of people. And so no matter what your goals, I believe that most people should be blogging or should at least have a website or should have some sort of online presence that they're leveraging to accomplish goals in their life, um, which one day might translate to monetary gains, but in the meantime, doesn't necessarily need to. So let's see, I made notes. So if it's me looking, that's what I'm looking at. Why blog? Okay, why would you want to blog? You're probably not going to make any money from it. I have been working on Mismorphosis for two and a half years, and unless you go buy some wine on that ad, I, I won't see any money from it. Um, in spite of that, it's been one of the most gratifying things I've ever done, and not just from a perspective of it makes me feel good or it gets things off my chest, but that it's actually accomplished real tangible things in my life. Um, I went to school, got a great education, and parents were just kind of saying, should you be spending so much time on this blog? I would do it at night when I came home from finishing my homework and pull all-nighters, and it was all sorts of dysfunctional. Turns out I graduate, start applying to random jobs, can't find anything, and um, I have a psychology degree, which is pretty uh, hard to use unless you have um, extra credentials. And then I applied for a job and put Mismorphosis in my resume because it was something that, you know, I was proud of. It says some things that maybe some employers wouldn't like, but in general, I felt like um, it was something I could be proud of. And it ended up getting me a job as a marketing director because it demonstrated um, all sorts of things, technical skills, um, writing skills, communication skills, um, my interests, my personality. Um, a lot of companies aren't just looking for someone that fits the bill um, for the job requirement, but someone that they want to be around each day and someone that might contribute energy and ideas and all sorts of things to their organization. So 
I can't show you in a resume I send you online that I'm nice and energized and have ideas, but I can show you that with my blog. So there's a couple different routes you can take. I think if you want to write about things you don't necessarily want your employer to know about, you should still have a blog. You can use a pen name, you can make it anonymous, and you can start learning how to communicate your ideas with a global audience. And even though you might not attract employers, you might not want to attract employers, you might attract friends, you might attract, um, if you're dating, you might meet someone. I think it's much better than an online dating profile is this online thing I've created that is totally from me and explains who I am. Um, people that find you through your blog are resonating with very, very, very deep parts of you that aren't how you look. They aren't, um, I don't know, they're not, they're not how much money you make necessarily unless you're promoting, you know, business opportunities, but they're, they're connecting with the part of you that you want to put out there. And that's a really, really interesting feeling and experience. Um, it also forces you to start sticking up for yourself and articulating your ideas. I wrote a, a post, a letter to the haters, why support Coney? And a lot of people were talking it down. And of course I got mean comments that I don't understand the Ugandans. And um, I think I articulated myself well. I explained how I felt that day about that decision that I made. That doesn't mean I'm omniscient or I'm never gonna change my mind. And I actually did withdraw my support a couple weeks ago or about a week ago now when I found out about the fact that one of the Coney co-founders was found masturbating on a public sidewalk by losing his mind. I, I still think it's a great organization, but I don't want someone masturbating in public with my money because I don't have that much money. And that doesn't make sense to me. Um, so I should probably write a follow-up post about how I changed my mind. And it's okay to change your mind and it's okay to learn how to explain yourself and how to stand up for your beliefs. So the point of Mismorphosis is it is my blog. It's where I write about the things that interest me, the things I talk about with my friends, the things I could talk about all day long that people don't want to necessarily listen to all day long. Um, it's so that the people that want to hear it can go there, and it doesn't go away. Um, it's an incredible experience. I love it. Um, there are a lot of different resources you can go to to learn about specifically what I've gotten out of blogging on both Blogging Fearlessly and Mismorphosis. Then I started Blogging Fearlessly as um, it's more of a business for me, so I would love to be able to help you or someone you know build your blog because blogging is a full-time job. Mismorphosis has taken me hundreds and hundreds of hours to build and to study each component of it, of the technical side, the copywriting side. Good writing in general isn't necessarily good writing for a blog. Um, it's taken me time to learn even the basics of social networking in a way that resonates with, with blogging and with growing a blog. As you want, as, if you want to start to explore monetizing um, there's a lot of different routes from ads to monetization to creating info products and what does that mean and how do you do that. If you, this is something you want to do on the side or you want to do at night, you need to remember that time is money. So if you want to spend two years learning it like I did, do it. I loved it. I love the experience of learning it. The first problem is that time is moving quickly. So things are changing in the blog world quicker than you can keep up with it unless you are doing it all the time. The other thing is that if you have a normal job and you're making money, then I think it's better for you to spend some of that money to build a great online presence. Um, your online presence will be eventually an important representation of you. And the way something looks matters. When people get a free blog and they try and throw something up and it's a mess, it's cute and it's fun, but it's not going to accomplish anything. It's not going to get you a great job. It's not going to attract a big audience and it's never going to open the door for those opportunities. I think it's better to get help in the beginning, put a couple hundred dollars up front and do it right. Um, in the amount of time I spent blogging, I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on it and you do get what you pay for. If you're taking blogging seriously, you'll see me advertising something called John Morrow's Guest Blogging Program. I'm a virtual assistant for them so I work all day making phone calls and helping people grow their online presence through John's course, which totally changed my life. If you're interested in doing that, looking into the course, trying buying it, go to bloggingfearlessly.com and on the right hand column it'll say learn in red, it'll be one of the titles, and underneath there'll be a link that says blog college. And click there, you can read about my experiences with it, why I believe that it's it's a worthwhile investment if you're trying to take your online presence anywhere. So in sum what this is all about is that 
I love mismorphosis. I love being able to share these ideas and grow with people and learn things. Um, but it's time consuming and it's become a bit of an obsession how to grow something that matters and all the different ways that you can utilize this. I started exploring it in an interview series, the Blogging Fearlessly interview series, and talking to big bloggers and how they were using their blog to create a life for themselves because no one just starts creating content and then slapping ads up and making millions. It's not going to happen. You would need so much exposure that, um, just, just try, let me know how it goes. But what people do is that they create a blog or a website and develop a personal brand, which is just a way of saying, showing the world what you're good at. And then as you start to learn the basics of it and attract customers, you can leverage that financially. So if you're great at, um, I don't know, let's talk about this. If you're great at sewing, start sharing your experiences and getting people and sharing patterns and things, then if you have enough followers, you can eventually write a book about sewing and hopefully a percentage of your followers will, will pay for that because they want more of you. So that's called selling premium content. Um, you could begin teaching courses and you're on, even though you need people locally to sign up for your course, your international blog, your blog that reaches people all over the world will give you an enormous sense of credibility and allow you to charge more for that local service. So if you have followers from all over the world and, and you're seen as an authority in your niche, you're going to be able to charge a lot more. Um, it's how people leverage this online branding and identity that I explore each week on the Monday interviews on Blogging Fearlessly. So I I've, I've try and get people from every niche, um, online cartoonists, people that make web, web comics, <laughs> I don't know what that's called, um, freelance writers. Um, I've interviewed the associate editor of Psych Central, a huge uh, psychology blog. Um, I just interviewed last week, I just posted the interview with Penelope Trunk, who is known as the world's most influential guidance counselor. So how she's found success, she's been a very successful entrepreneur, and, and how that plays into her online identity. It, it, her entire business started online. So if you're interested in following these creative ways that people use the internet to create a business, then I would subscribe to the series or check in each Monday on Blogging Fearlessly and then you can see that. Um, if you want to create a blog or create an online identity, you can start following Blogging Fearlessly. It'll tell you the things I learned the hard way in two years. It'll sum it up on the epiphanies and the aha moments and the tricks and the techniques. That, I would, I want that resource there. I wish I had had it. Um, the goal of mismorphosis and blogging fiercely has been to both have things out there that I wish I had had when I was in that position. Mismorphosis when I was young, trying to make decisions about my body and relationships, and um, blogging fiercely when I was starting my blog. If you do decide to take it to that next level and build a blog, I would encourage you to either sign up for the guest blogging class, which will really teach you everything you need to know about blogging, or to get private help. Um, it'll go quicker, it'll be more efficient, and you'll save yourself hours and hours and hours of research and bad decisions. At the end of the day, when you put something out there to an international audience, you want it to look good. I can sit down here all day in flannel with no makeup and no tan because my blogs look nice, they're put together, my writing is put together, and I have like one or two photos where I look like a put together human being. And as far as anyone else is concerned, from an aesthetic standpoint, I am a together brand and company. Then I have free way, free leniency, free, free, Rain. I have free rain to sit here and work at midnight with a glass of wine in my sweats or um, from somewhere else, from Chase's house or from a coffee shop, and no one knows what I look like. So online, it's that first infrastructure you set up, how good it looks, that represents your brand and your quality. And then you're free to do it wherever you want and however you want and to be comfortable and to post things when, you, when they're ready. Um, you can create this amazing illusion that you have everything together because you choose when you press publish. Um, this video might not be the most together because I've never made a video, so I'm just sort of talking to you. But I know you're busy, so I'm going to stop. But that is basically what I wanted to explain, was the concepts behind blogging fearlessly and how um, Miss Morphsis and blogging fearlessly work together so that I'm able to sit here all day in my flannel. All right, have a great day. Thank you for watching.